Welcome to today's webinar, 4th of March. My name is Magnus Hedley. I'm working for Trimble Solutions in Norway. I'm based in the capital Oslo. And uh, today's topic will be Tylos, which is a time location planning software. So the next few moments, I think we will have the webinar for about 20 minutes. So in the next minutes, I'll try to catch up on three topics. The, we'll start with the industry challenges. What are the problems you are facing today? We'll have a look at what is the normal planning method. I'm sure you all have been involved in different planning tools. So I'll just give you a little bit of update on, on the traditional planning. And we will focus mostly on the time location system. So we call it tiles. So we'll start off with the challenges. After some research, the recent years, we can see that a lot of projects are going over budget and nine of the 10 projects are actually delivered too late according to owners around the world. So the pro productivity in the civil sector at the moment showing a little bit negative compared to other businesses. So we in Trimble, we have this ecosystem of different software probably you have seen it before if not you can think you have quadri as a blim bim and collaborative platform in the middle and we have different thrimble software around which we call our continuum we have quantum for finding alignments we have nova point for design Tylos for, for planning. We can go out to the machines and maintenance, but we can also connect different other softwares from Autodesk or Bentley, for example. Tomorrow's webinar uh, will be about quantum, where we'll have a look at corridor optimization, CO2 reduction. So, so it will be a quite nice webinar tomorrow as well. But today we will focus on Tylos which is a tool for solving construction challenges. Tool number three in our continuum. So to understand what Tiles is, I would normally also try to explain a little bit about the traditional method. Perhaps you have seen MS Project, you have worked with Excel, Primavera or Asta Power Project, where it's quite normal to see your activities. You can see something about your time and progress. So here we see a lot of different tasks, activities, and when it's going to be done. But actually we have quite many other questions that we need to take into consideration during the planning. Like, we don't have any information here about distance. So where are we working? In which direction are we working? What is the speed or the work rate? It's also a little bit complicated here to see conflicts, environmental constraints. We can't add any diagrams. It will also be nice to see something about cost resources, CO2. And also the visualization here is quite complex. You have to print out numbers of pages and bring it to the site. So understanding the issues, we'll now try to see the benefits of doing this planning also regards with time and distance. So to, to explain you Tylos in like one sentence, it will be that like you have a 
visual view of your project, you still have your time on the vertical X, but we add additional line on the horizontal where you can see the distance. So uh, one benefit could be like, or one question from the owner or anyone in the project could be like, where are we working? And when are we working there? From which direction are we working? From right to left? And the tilt of the task shows how fast it will be completed. So here we have a little bit more information than in a normal Gantt chart, which you also can use. You can also work with Gantt charts in, in Telos. Telos is also integrated with a lot of planning tools. It's also integrated with uh, the existing tools you may be are using. And who are or who should use Tylos? It's um, it's normal that the owner or a user, also designers and contractors, and quite often they work together with the same plan. So everybody have the same relationship to what is planned and what is going to be completed. And Tylos can be used for almost all linear project. If there's a pipeline or a road or a railway or a bridge, Tylos fits quite good to those kind of projects. And Tylos can be used during the whole project. It can be used from the very first beginning where you're testing different options. It can be used when you have the alignment. It can also be used during the construction. So it can be used from, from the whole project phase. It can also be, the, be visualized by like, you can use it in the concept and design. You can use it in the project, you can use it also in the construction. And also in the maintenance, for example. So why, sh why should you, or why can it be a benefit working with a linear plan? Instead of using 40 different pages and papers, uh, I think the, the highest benefit is that you have the visual plan and everything is seen on one page. And the last 15 minutes of the webinar, we will try to see the simplest project ever. It's a five kilometer road. You can see it here, the blue alignment on the Google Earth picture. So the first thing we will do in Tylos, which looks like this, is that we will define time distance, June, July, August. And we will define the kilometers, for example, or meters, one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometer, and so forth. Then we will add a drawing or a picture of the road. Then we can divide the road in different sections, five different sections with different colors. And we can add different grids, time grids every week and distance grids for every section. So it could look like this. You have five kilometer road with different sections. Then we can draw tasks. We can import tasks, we can draw tasks. So this yellow line is a task. It shows at which time we're working on which place. We have a start and start distance, end distance, start and end time. You can see that this task is a grading task. We're working 80 meters per day. And then it will take 63 days to complete this grading. 
quite simple. Normally, in uh, a traditional planning tool, you can see it in a Gantt chart, and you can see this information. But then it can be more complex. We can, for example, add a box down to the right where we have environmental restrictions, which means in this distance, in this time, we are not allowed to work. How do we solve that? We, we can start with the task. We can jump over the environmental area. We can continue and we can take our machines, go back and complete the job when the restrictions are over. With this plan, the finish date are not changed. We have the same finish date, the 7th of August. The same plan should look like this in a gun chart. It's more difficult to see and understand and, and detect clashes. Then we can also it's, it's not always that the activity is a straight line. It can be different working speeds for different sections. Let me give you an example. In section one, we're working 60 meters per day. In section two, we have some easier conditions so we can work a little bit faster. In the purple area, we can work a lot faster because of anything. So task doesn't need to be a straight line. It can be different speeds and different work rates for different areas. It can also be shown visually, like 60 meters, 80 meters, and the purple area 90 meters per day, for example. Okay, so we have, we could have, have a straight line. We could also have different lines for different sections. And we can also add progress. That perhaps we are a little bit late or we're working faster than the original plan. And at the, in the end, we can see that the, the progress that actually have been done on site are two days in front. So it's good to measure the actual plan versus the progress plan. Also a good thing that you can do in Telus is you can work with other tasks and you can give them links. So this gray task is linked to this green one. And we can say that you have to start 800 meters after the green one. We can have any distance related link telling how many meters after or how many meters it should be between you. It's also possible to add time links, which says that the gray task in the bottom has to start 14 days after the pink one, or they can never be two weeks close to each other. You can also, yeah, this is another picture of linking, but you can also see that the tasks here are not a straight line. They are, it could be that there's different materials. We are working very fast, it's, it's not so much materials. We're working very slow. There's more things to do, more materials to move, for example. Here, we suddenly have a little bit more complex project. You can still see the tasks and you can have different diagrams. 
it's great to show the owner or the other members of the team or the project, show them all your resources, how many machines and what kind of machines are working with which task. You can count labor hours, you can count catch and fill. So this is one benefit that you can add different kinds of diagrams. You can also work with costs, cost and income, you can see the sum curves, and it's not sure that the same cost appears every month. Perhaps one month can be extremely more, uh, you can have more, more cost that month and perhaps no cost the next one. So it's good to have an overview of the costs during the project. A very important topic at the moment is um, CO2 emissions. So with TELOS, you can calculate CO2 for earthworks, you can calculate it for the machines, and almost all different aspects of the project can be calculated and have these CO2 estimates. In some projects, you actually get a bonus if you can provide and follow your CO2 plan or reduce the CO2 emissions. Here we also have a mass hole diagram showing the different materials where they are transported from the cut area over to the fill area. And we can schedule it into those when it's going to be happen. Of course, you can create different diagrams that you want to display. So I think we have been in about 18, 20 minutes. So that's, that's enough for, for today. Uh, if you want to test Tilos, you can't click on the link, but you can screenshot it or, or type it into your browser. It's a free test version. If you have any other questions or if you want to have any dialogue or talks about Telos, I'm, I'm happy to, to talk to you. You can send me an email whenever you want and uh, tell me what you like to discuss. So thank you for, for listening to this short Telos webinar. Tomorrow we will have a deeper look at quantum, finding optimal corridors, reducing costs, and reducing CO2. Thank you so much. Enjoy your lunch and have a great day further.